I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we will share with you some tips and some tricks that how to remember all the six fundamental rights. So it does not matter that how well you have read all the things, but the matter is that to recall all those things in the real exam. So real exam is the place where you have to recall all the important things. So to recall all the important things, you have to keep them simple and short. So in this video, we will share with you all those short tricks. So first, we have to understand that what is the fundamental rights. So fundamental rights are the basic rights which were guaranteed by the Constitution of India to its citizens. So previously there was seven fundamental rights, but after the 44th Amendment Act 1978, right to property was deleted and made a legal right under Article 300A. And Article 300A is present in Part 12 of the Indian Constitution. So at present, there are only six fundamental rights. So right to property is no more a constitution right, but made a legal right. So here we have to understand that what is the difference between legal right and a fundamental right or a constitution right. The simple difference between the legal right and a constitution right is that legal right is managed through an ordinary law and constitution right is managed through an constitutional law. So state can curtail your legal rights, but state don't have any power to curtail your constitution right. But under some circumstances, state can do so. So we will talk about that in a further videos. So if we talk about right to freedom, then under right to freedom, there are four articles, but article 21 have a sub part and it makes it a head of five articles. So article 19 talks about the protection of six rights regarding freedom of speech and expression, assembly, association, movement, re residence and profession. So these are the rights which will be protected under article 19. And article 20 protects the in respect to a conviction for offenses. An article 20, an article 20 which is a protection of life and personal liberty. An article 21a, which is a sub part of article 21, talks about the right to elementary education. An article 22 talks about the protection against arrest and detention in certain cases. So the matter is that how to remember all these things. So first thing you have to remember that under right to freedom, there are five articles. So you must have to include the 21A also because if you don't include 21A also, 21A, then you will be left it out in the real exam. So let me share with you a short story. So there is a lawyer who got to know the real meaning of freedom and he got that we are a free man and we have certain rights. So when he got the meaning of freedom, then he don't do any offense. And when a lawyer who got a freedom and got to know the real meaning of freedom and when he got an and when he don't do an offense. So technically he is saving a life of others. Okay. So when he is saving a life of others because he is a educated man. So a lawyer who don't do any offense, he is saving a life of others because he is the educated man. And through this education, he is saving a, he is saving those person who were already arrested. So this is a very short story that you can remember or note down. So like this, many more to come. I hope you found this video informative. 
till then thank you